identical twins of Reddit who own a pet after living secretly, what was your pet's reaction when it saw two owners? Long time ago my grandfather had a dog that went with him to work the fields on his farm. He passed away and dog stayed with my father and his mother. Grandfather's brother came up the driveway one day to visit, walking and looking like my grandfather. The dog went crazy in the house. She was barking and going from window to window. They finally let her out as he was walking up the steps to the porch. She ran up to him all excited until she saw it wasn't her master. It was like someone had kicked her. The tail went under and she slowly walked over to her bed and laid down in her sadness. Oh, my goodness. I felt so terrible for the dog. My dad and my uncle were identical twins, their voices sound so similar even my mom would get confused before the invention of caller ID. My dad passed away last year, and when my uncle came over the family beagle didn't notice. But when my uncle spoke he perked up. But then he would go and sniff him and get sad again. I'm not crying or crying. In the months immediately after my dad's death my uncle didn't want to visit because he thought that seeing him would make us sad because he looks the same as my dad. We quickly told him otherwise and made sure he didn't feel uncomfortable at family gatherings. He lost a brother just as much as we lost a father slash husband and grieving with company is sometimes better than grieving alone. Something I've never considered, how does your mom handle seeing your uncle? I imagine seeing your dead significant other and their twin can be hard to handle. Not to step on your loss. Please ignore if need be. I can't say for sure. I know for me, I only get confused for a brief flash, seeing my uncle out of the corner of my eye and thinking it's my dad. But by the time I fully turn and really look I clearly understand it's my uncle. He's a completely different person even though he talks, sounds, speaks, acts, behaves, believes, and sometimes even thinks the same way my dad did. Maybe because I learned the subtleties between them as a baby they are so deeply ingrained as two different people in my mind that I can never really confuse them. Sometimes though, if I close my eyes and don't breathe, they wear slash wore different deodorant. A hug from my uncle feels very 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 much like a hug from my dad. Wow, that's got to be so odd and comforting at the same time. Thank you for sharing and all the best to you and your family. My dad passed almost six years ago and my uncle looks and sounds a lot like him, although not twins. People mistake him on the street for my dad. I don't see him often but when I do. The pain of missing my dad floods back in an instant and I cry. I'm glad you can see your uncle without that. My dog lost his mind when my twin came to visit. He excitedly dashed back and forth between the two of us thrilled to see us both. Then again, he's a golden retriever so he does that with everyone. My golden retriever can definitely tell me and my twin apart, and he likes her more. My twin and I have lived separately and together several times. My dog treated my sister and me like two separate members of the same family, but both our cats, one is mine, one is hers, have made it clear from the beginning the other twin is a second class citizen. We have exactly the same voice so when we visit each other there's about one minute of why are there two of you and then it's business as usual. My dog used to do a weird thing. If he is on my uncle's lap and my dad walks in, he'll switch to my dad's lap and vice versa. So the idea of second class citizen from dog's perspective keeps changing time to time. Lol. Probably just wants the newcomer to feel welcome. Maybe it's like flipping your pillow to the cooler side. One lap was a bit too warm. I have an identical twin. My sister decided to try and surprise me by coming to visit from out of state, she had a key, and my dog growled and barked at her and wouldn't let her in while I was in the shower lol he didn't care if she looked and sounded like me, she wasn't coming in unless I let her. What a good boy. Maybe he was confused because he knew you were inside so there was no way you could be at the front door. Wouldn't you be freaked out if a thing that looked and sounded just like your mother was trying to get into your house but you just knew it wasn't because a, 
your mom's already inside and b, there's something just off about it. My sister's dog was confused for a second because we sound alike. But then he realized I wasn't her but similar, so he also adores me. Sometimes when I'm visiting and he gets in trouble with her he comes to find me and climbs in my lap he only weighs 100 pounds. My sister and I aren't twins, but we look very similar and sound nearly identical. Before I moved halfway across the country and developed an accent, we did sound identical. She has six dogs, and all of them took an immediate liking to me the first time they heard me speak. I sound like mom, so I must be good people. I'm an identical twin. My dogs had no issues distinguishing between me and my sister. They could tell the difference by smell. Interesting. I'm no detective, but I surmise one of you smells worse than the other. Maybe they just use different body wash and both smell equally nice, just different. Get out of here with your logic. We're here to give people complexes. Dogs can also distinguish their owner by the way you pet them slash the way you walk slash your voice. These facts also play a role. My partner is an identical twin. Our dog hates his twin and won't let him in the house and our cat loves him. The cat loves him out of spite. Oh the dog hates this one. Welcome to our humble home imposter. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Identical twin here. It's weird because my dog loves me but hates my sister. Like, when she comes around he growls at her and barely lets her touch him. I have no idea why, he isn't like this to the rest of my family or friends. Maybe he thinks she is an imposter? I would almost guarantee it's because she's almost identical to you but not quite the same. It's probably real confusing for the poor little guy. Have you ever heard of the uncanny valley? It's probably something like that. If I were a dog, I would be suspicious of this imposter too. We never had pets growing up, so my twin was pretty nervous. My wife's 9 pound Pomeranian could smell his fear and preyed on it. I'm trying hard to imagine a 9 pounds Pomeranian prey on anything, but I am not having much success. He thinks he's 90 pounds. He mostly wanted attention but was happy enough with my brother's discomfort. He recoiled from the barks, which only encouraged the dog to bark more. My mom is an identical twin. My childhood cat Linus was a total scaredy cat, abused at an early age and terrified of new people, but an absolute sweetheart with us. When my aunt came to visit for the first time, Linus walked right up to her and snuggled against her leg. She started scratching him and all was going great until he saw my mom. Cue very quick back and forth head turns, followed by running up the stairs and hiding for hours. Poor baby. Damn I figured cats identified people more by their scent. Although I guess there's a good possibility that identical twins pretty much smell alike too. My story is similar. I have a twin sister and our voices sound the same as well. And she has a little kitty named Oliver who is very shy and hides whenever anyone comes over. I was at her place the other day watching a movie and after a while Oliver sneaks into the living room and when I call him over he puts his paws up on the couch and looks up at me, and I was hoping that he finally trusted me enough to come up and snuggle with me but I think he was confused because his eyes got all big and he frantically looked back and forth between my sister and I who was right next to me, before sprinting away. Lol maybe one day we'll be friends, smiley face. My grandfather had a younger brother whose voice sounded indistinguishable from his own, to all us humans anyway. They were not twin-like in appearance, nor send, one assumes. One day our big study master of his domain German Shepherd catches Uncle Reggie on the front porch and starts going at him and Uncle Reggie says, Oh Scout, now stop that. And Scout did the full cartoon stop head sideways, and that whimper that sounds like a question mark. So his appearance wasn't mistaken by the dog at all, but he did confuse the hell out of him with the identical voice. My sister and I have identical voices as well. We're two years apart and really look nothing alike. While it's never affected a pet and our family is mostly used to it, 
Her boyfriend of 10 years still freaks out when we have a conversation. Especially when he can't see who's talking. We find it hilarious when we're in the back of the car and he says we need to start announcing who's speaking each time so he stops getting confused. He says it sounds like some crazy person talking to themselves. Double points for when we say the same thing at the same time. Which is quite often. Okay. You two need to just stop that. Good times. Rusty was a good boy and was ecstatic there were two of us. More to play with, I guess. He learned to tell us apart though, and I kind of felt like an indulgent uncle with him. It's even more fun as my brother and I have had children in our own families and they can't tell us apart until they are almost two. My dad and his brother were identical and same voice, too. My dad rescued a nest of bird babies whose mom never came back and he would feed them. He would go outside and say where are my babies? And their little heads would pop up, chirping and chattering and he would feed them. Had a vet friend who told him how and what to feed them. One day his brother came over and my dad told him to go out and say where are my babies? And the birds stayed silent. Not a peep. He tried again to no avail. My dad said it and instantly the babies popped up and chirping. They couldn't see him, and his voice was identical yet they just knew. It was uncanny. Do you know any such stories about twins and pets? Leave a comment. And subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more same videos.